what I what I want, what I need. I just can say that uh, I believe in my skills. I will do everything to uh, be undisputed uh, world champion, and uh, I capable to do it. Dmitry Bivol just offered a brutal KO warning to Artur Baterbiev ahead of their fight, claiming to end Baterbiev's reign once and for all. Meanwhile, Raleigh Romero wasn't head over heels about the Bivol versus Baterbiev clash and arrogantly shunned both fighters, saying that none of them speak English. Raleigh ridiculed both Bivol and Baterbiev by saying that no one even watches that weight class. Bavol Baterbiev is interesting. Neither one speak English. No, but it's it's for undisputed in the point where it's for undisputed, right? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like you want to see how like you'll yeah, react to dude, it? They do these undisputed belts every other f month. But it's like the number one versus the number yeah, two. Yeah, the number yeah, they do this shit every f time. But th does anyone even watch that weight class? Romero is so full of himself that he doesn't even remember who Betterbiev or Bivol's last opponents were. On the other hand, Dmitry Bivol gave Arthur a new message ahead of their clash. He said that he is focused on himself until October 12th, and Betterbiev is focused on himself. No, I don't have uh, any message for Arthur, uh, but uh, I have to be focused on me. He's focused on himself. We're both pro boxers, professional boxers. We know what we need. And uh, I hope October 12th uh, we will see undisputed fight. While Bivol looked good against the tiny 5 feet 8 inches Canelo Alvarez and knocked out Malik Zinad, it will be a lot harder for him to do the same thing against Better BF. When comparing both Canelo and Artur, Bivol exclaimed, It's two different people, two absolutely different fighters. Artur is bigger and has a stronger punch and different technique. Bivol has stopped just one opponent inside the distance in his last 10 contests, a big contrast to the fearsome shots of Better BF and the most intriguing talking point of their undisputed fight next month. WBA light heavyweight champion Bivol said that he has been focusing on becoming the undisputed champion in the weight class for a long time, and now the moment is finally here. Furthermore, Bivol gave his honest comments on Baterbiev when he knocked out his opponent, Callum Smith, in the seventh round. Every fight that I have, I see it as the most difficult challenge for me. It was a good performance. He showed that he still has the power, pressure, and he's confidence. Dmitry Bivol is adamant at becoming the undisputed light heavyweight champion, and he is happy to take his chance at our tour. Furthermore, all right, Dimitri, the undisputed fight is officially confirmed. How happy are you? <clears throat> I'm happy. I'm I'm happy that I close to my goal. You looking forward to the occasion? Of course. What will it mean to you to become an undisputed champion? <clears throat> it's like uh, you went to the finally stop in your career, I think, in this weight class. Lyndon Arthur has a unique perspective having lost a unanimous decision to Bivol last year and previously sparred Betterbiev. He gave his verdict to Boxing News. I used to think Bivol, no, I still think Bivol's the best. Bivol's elite, but now I've felt Bivol doesn't hit as hard as he needs to keep Betterbiev off. I've sparred Betterbiev. I know how, how hard he hits in 16 ounces. I wouldn't like to take them shots in 10 ounces. Not for as long as that anyway, as a 12-round fight. David Benavidez has sparred with both Betterbiev and Bivol. He said that both fighters are great in their own skills, but Arthur is a wrecking train. You know, they're both extremely talented fighters very well. They're two different type of fighters though. Bebo is a boxer. He moves around a lot, but he's solid. Uh, Berta Beeb is a, is a train. Just comes at you, takes shots. On the other hand, Artur Baterbiev's trainer, Mark Ramsey, believes that Dmitry Bivol may have intentionally delayed the fight, hoping that time would catch up with Baterbiev and he would start to show signs of aging. However, Ramsey pointed out that instead of slowing down, Baterbiev has only improved over time. It's going to be a very important fight. There is nothing personal here for Artur. He just wants to beat the guy in front of him, and at the end of the day, he just really wants to win. This is his main thing. He is just very competitive. He is always training and in the gym. We've just been waiting and waiting. They are hoping that one day Artur is going to get old, but he is just getting better and better. Eddie Hearn had the same comments about Better BF as his trainer. Hearn admitted that Artur still keeps getting better with each fight. He also mentioned that if Dmitry Bivol sticks to his plan, he might be able to tire Better BF out in the later rounds. He compared the fight to a chess match, where every move and strategy will be key to deciding who wins. I know he's getting older and you hope that he is slowing down, but he is not. He's actually doing his best performances now. It is very difficult to outbox him in the 12 rounds because he is actually going to wear you down. He is going to force the pressure with his shots around the back of the head and shots on the ears. They really hurt. Meanwhile, Bivol has no personal grudges against Arthur Betterbiev ahead of their fight, but he does allude to the fact that Betterbiev has what he needs, and Bivol will do anything to become undisputed on October 12th. 
what I what I want, what I need. I just can say that uh, I believe in my skills. I will do everything to uh, be undisputed uh, world champion, and uh, I capable to do it. On the opposite end, Artur Beterbiev shunned Bivol for delaying the fight, and he claimed that he had been looking to fight Bivol since many years. Yes, yes, I won this fight. I won this fight a couple of years, since couple couple of years, you know. Do you believe he <laughs> wants this fight? But he says uh, always, like, last four years, he always says the next fight he will do with me, but never do. <laughs> Beterbiev remained humble in stating who wins in their clash on October 12th and finally determined who the next light heavyweight king would be. We will see, I never do prediction, you know. I'm on the road not yet, I'm not there yet. While talking with Bivol face to face during their press conference, the stoic Russian Beterbiev kept his response and his brutal warning to Bivol short and crisp. I'm happy to be here. It's not the first time. I see another belt. I'm collecting belts and I need one more. A tense exchange erupted at the recent London press conference, leaving everyone wondering what it meant. During the event, a journalist probed, do you have a message for Dmitry Bivol now that he's here? Beterbiev replied cryptically, he know already. Confused, Bivol responded, I don't know already. Beterbiev, maintaining his enigmatic air, asserted, he know, he know. Beterbiev then firmly concluded, I tell you no, for sure. Former boxer Robert Garcia thinks that Bivol might find himself in trouble against the knockout King Beterbiev. He said that in order to to win this fight, Bivol has to be the better one in the ring. I think Bivol outboxes him. I think so too, but it's not a bad fight because Bivol hits hard. So one punch. But what if you can't hit him? He's going to in and out and yeah, move. Well, that's what, that's what Bivol's going to do. Try to Bivol's do. like 40 years old. I mean, Bivol is 40 years old. what Bivol's going to try to do. Just boom, 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 touch, touch and move and touch, touch and move. But that power is always there, man. Robert also believes that Bivol has to move quickly to counter the power of Beterbiev. Well, that's what Bivol's going to do. Just boom, 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 touch, touch and move and touch, touch and move. But that power is always there, man. That power is the last thing that leaves. Furthermore, Carson gave his prediction on the Beterbiev versus Bivol bout. He said that Bivol stops Artur without knocking him out on the ground, but it will be more of a referee stoppage. I think better be is great. I think he's a better boxer than people give him credit for. He's not just like just a knockout artist. But man, I think Bivol cooks him. Yeah. I think Bivol absolutely the whole time I'm carves watching. his up. Yeah, the whole time I think time he stops him. That's my hot Ooh, take. I, don't got him I think Bivol it. stops him. Not a knock, not like he knocks him out. TKO. I think the ref stops it. Former boxer Roy Jones Jr. commented that Beterbiev is 38 years old and almost at the end of his career, whereas Bivol has never been down and poses a significant threat to Artur. No. 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 Not pity pity. One, Beterbiev is 38 years old. Beterbiev has been down. Yes, yes, yes. Bivol has never been down. Bivol been in there with who at the time was pound pound the best, which was Canelo Alvarez. Made him look like nothing. So I'm not saying it's 50 50. Bit of beef, got everything to show me to bring it back to 50 50. Roy said that Bivol has the advantage because he has also beaten Canelo Alvarez. He also stated that Beterbiev has a lot of power, but he has been put to sleep before. Jones further commented on the fight, Beterbiev took a hell of a punch to get down, so it's a very dangerous game Bivol got to play because Beterbiev is the best puncher, probably ever in that division. You understand me, so it's a great fight. Maybe he may land, maybe he may miss. On the other hand, David Benavidez wasn't far behind in pointing out the flaws in Artur Beterbiev's boxing style. Benavidez expressed his desire to fight better BF in the future and said that he could exploit his boxing rhythm. I thought it was a really good performance, but um, he does leave himself open a lot. Um, I feel like there's I could have a lot of success with him and I definitely I would love to fight him in the future. Um, he's a uh, he leaves his body open a lot, you know, and he's really, uh, uh, you can really hit him a lot with, uh, with combinations. So, I mean, it would definitely be an extremely tough. Furthermore, David Benavidez is preparing himself to fight the winner of the Better Biev and Bivol bout, and it will be a great fight for the Mexican fans out there because he missed his chance to fight Canelo at a 168. David said that the fight between Better Biev and Bivol would be really interesting because Bivol can crack shots really well and he can break Better Biev down. He said that if Bivol stays on his feet the entire night and uses his jabs, then he can overpower Artur and win the fight. Benavidez also gave Bivol a brutal warning, saying that when Artur turns on his engine, then he becomes a train. On the other hand, Bivol had some remarks about Benavidez of his own. He explained that Benavidez is a great fighter, and he seems really confident that he can go up against him and better Biev. I, I heard sometimes, yeah, from uh, from people. I didn't see his interviews, to be honest. To be honest, but uh, I respect him as a fighter. He's a really great fighter, and. Uh, he, what he's saying that he wants to fight me and better be if it 
it means that he's a great fighter, he's confident and he want to uh, achieve more and more. It, on the opposite end, Canelo Alvarez has made a strong comeback after losing to Dmitry Bivol last year, but he still feels the impact of that defeat. Canelo fought for Bivol's WBA light heavyweight world title. At that time, Alvarez was seen as unbeatable and was the favorite to win, but Bivol ended up winning the match. Alvarez said that he is interested in watching the fight between Bivol and Better Biev, but he's interested in possibly trying to avenge his May 2022 unanimous decision loss to Bivol at 175 pounds. Yeah, if it's possible one day, it's the only fight I make one more time at 175 with that rematch with Bivol, I think it's the only fight I will move up and fight with him. Meanwhile, boxing trainer Greg Hackett described that Bivol would be put through literal hell in his fight against Better BF. Greg added that Artur would win the fight, but it won't be easy as pie. I think Better BF will win, right? But I think Bivol will put him through hell before he before he the win. It's going to take a lot out of Better BF. It's going to take a lot out of Bivol. Bivol going to look like the hell of a boxer in the beginning. He might, he might go up six rounds, but better be able to catch up to him. The pressure, the pressure gets to be too much. Greg commented on Bivol as a fighter. Bivol is a man of respect. What I mean by that, he not going to just let you run down. He not going to let you do what you want. So he going to fight you back. Greg further said that Better Biev's mind is what will allow him to win the fight. Hackett stated that Better Biev is far too vicious for Bivol, and he will have to stop Dimitri, even if it's in the later rounds. Moreover, Hackett gets real on how Bivol has a chance of winning. Greg shared a strategy that may increase Bivol's chances. He said that Bivol should set his punches in a way that stops Better Biev. Bivol cannot let Better BF push him to the point where he is only throwing to survive in the game. Moreover, Arthur has to study Andre Ward if he wants to beat Bivol, because both of their styles are very similar. Furthermore, UFC commentator Joe Rogan wasn't far behind in praising Better BF as a vicious champion. Rogan posted on Instagram regarding Artur, this guy drags people to hell like no other. Artur Baterbiev goes 20 nil with 20 knockouts and becomes the first guy to floor Callum Smith 23. I hope he gets the super fights he deserves before he retires, and I hope people appreciate how extraordinarily terrifying his style and skills are. Joe Rogan stated that Better BF is the only guy in the present-day boxing world who has a 100% knockout ratio. He elaborated that Better BF is a complete animal, unlike anyone that the boxing world has seen. Joe Rogan further commented on what kind of a beast Arthur Better BF is. He's from Chechnya. This dude is terrifying. Terrifying because Joe Smith Jr. is an animal. I mean, he's this big power-punching light heavyweight, and Better BF him up in two rounds. Rogan pointed out that Better BF is close to 37 or 38 and most guys in boxing begin to slide at that age, but Arthur is not backing down anytime soon. Joe said that Better BF's hand speed and punching power set him apart, and that is why he was able to make mincemeat out of Joe Smith. What are your thoughts on the Dimitri Bivol versus Artur Better BF bout? Do you think either of them can win by knockout? We would love to hear your thoughts. Let us know in the comments section below and subscribe for more content like this.